Hello class, welcome to week 11. And, um, you know, I think most of you know now that I live up in Portland, Oregon, and that I lived in Modesto. Uh, so we had to deal with the fires out here, and you guys had to deal with fires, and I've had some friends that were directly affected by that. And now, winter is coming. And uh, up here, it's really getting cold fast, and I kind of think that snowy, snowy life will be happening. Anyways, uh, so, we're getting close to the end of the semester. A lot of you are exhausted from just trying to keep up with work, of course. But, um, this class in particular gets more intense just come the end of it, because we, 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 we're, we're going to just plow into the Civil War. Kind of a big deal in our history. But this is really a big one too. And I think this is a big one that it's it's shameful that we don't have as a, it's a popular culture better understanding of the Mexican-American War. Those of us living uh, in the Northwest and in California and some of the other states but since I'm only talking to us here and these two ones, um, Polk, we're here because of Polk and the military that he sent. And we're here because of an invasion. So, um, the United States was created, now I'm going to just be real right now, just in the raw, by taking land from the tribes and also taking land by force from Mexico. Um, there was um, you know, purchases from other countries, I'm talking about in case of, of violence, of warfare, to get land. I mean, it's very interesting, right, that Vikings, what makes Vikings considered, uh, wh why were they such a threat to Europe? Because they pillaged and took things from people, and I kind of gave them this barbarian persona. But you know what's interesting, in the Victoria, uh, uh, Victorian times, um, even though the British Isles were colonized and invaded and terrorized uh, in some parts by Vikings, uh, by the way, Dublin, Ireland was founded by Vikings, um, yet they became uh, very romanticized. And I think in part because the British uh, Culture, British culture wa was at its height of imperialism, of colonization, and it kind of seemed to fit in. It's just very interesting how one can perceive one's own history and that of others. And you can become a barbarian or you can become the great imperial civilizer. But the, but the actions aren't that so much different as much as scale, right? And I mean, I, I'm just pointing that out not to have like a let's hate on ourselves for being an America moment. What I'm just trying to point out is the reality about how the state is founded. And, um, and also kind of just bringing into context um, how other states create their own myths to try to justify or explain the better position that you're in or the worst position, the, the lower position that you're in. Whatever position you're in, there, you know, you find ways to justify it. But what's interesting is we don't like to think of ourselves as being a kind of uh, an imperialist nation or, or one that takes from others. But, alas, here we are. And, and the Mexican-American War tells us that story. And then later, how did we get Hawaii? We, just, we can go on some other examples. But, so, I, I think it's just good for us to put this in perspective about ourselves. You know, and, and, and as we go into the U.S. Civil War, I just think that, you know, part of the problem is that we don't realize how recent our history really is. And I'm going to be staying, saying this a lot for the next several announcements. Because what it also shows is that... It explains why we have not resolved a lot of our political contradictions and our historical contradictions and, and the issues of race and the complexities about our relationship to other nations and our, ourselves 
is because we are very new. And so it's, it just makes sense that we actually have problems that we do. It doesn't make an excuse for certain things that we should have resolved by now. But it does make an explanation for it. And, and, and it might help us to kind of be more patient with each other while at the same time asserting uh, uh, you know, a more out, uh, a, a, a better way at actually problem solving for the nation. Now that's just my little political rant of the day. Okay, look, take it or leave it. But the information that you get is, is interesting, right? And I'm already seeing some of the notes you're sending in in the discussions. You guys seem to get this. So that's great. Um, <coughs> all right. So if you have any questions, of course, just let me know. Keep up the good work. Don't tire out. I'm getting close to the end. And you guys are doing great.